Hey everyone, big show today, and happy Monday, by the way. I'm Andy Asher, I am host of Let's Talk, all about productivity, positivity, and happiness. You know, I want to talk more about the show in just a moment, and uh, how you can help keep Let's Talk going. But first, you know, we have a, a little spin-off from today, and all those economic numbers from last week that shows jobs and it shows that employment has never been better and the economic future, it looks great. But we know at the same time that people are getting fired and they're getting laid off every single day because they are too old. You know, I am going to talk with Mary Kogas, who is a lawyer. And ever since I was probably three years old, I've wanted to help people. Uh, that's just my nature. So she works for an online outfit, it's called Just Answer, that you may want to check out when you need to get some help. And we'll find out more from Mary Kogas in just a moment. Now the good news is that employers added, like I say, hundreds of thousands of uh, new jobs and uh, much higher than it was ever predicted. And it's been happening now for over a year. Meantime, we know that people get fired and Mary can talk about that. Okay. Also today, Mimi is back in her kitchen making one of my favorite drinks. It is a smoothie. And today it is watermelon delight. What's best than watermelon and uh, lime and mint? So tasty. I just love them. And in today's newsstand segment, we will be looking at all of those incredible food magazines. Just looking at them all makes me so hungry. But before we do all of that, that I want to just let you know that Let's Talk has only been around now since January, and I am so thankful for all of the comments and all of the new subscribers. Shortly, I will tell you three ways that you can help keep Let's Talk going. Something that I uh, came across recently is the story about Charlie White who was more than a century old when a new neighbor moved in, which began a long friendship and a, a profound lesson in the meaning of life. Charlie White was no ordinary neighbor. Born before the radio was invented, Charlie lived long enough to use a smartphone. The story starts out when Charlie's new neighbor moves in next door. When David Vondrelli spotted his new neighbor. And Charlie was in the drive wearing just a pair of swim trunks and he's washing his girlfriend's car. Big muscular chest. At a hundred and two. Charlie was Charlie White. And yes, he was a hundred and two. He'd already lived a couple of lifetimes and still had a lot of road in front of him. Meanwhile, Vondrelli and his young family had just moved from Washington, D.C. The two became fast friends. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the book. It's called The Book of Charlie. It is so inspiring. And like I said earlier, it seems that people you know, aren't having trouble getting jobs as we just learned last month. Hundreds of thousands of people, they became employed last month, but people we know get fired too. They get canned. Some because of the age discrimination. Recently, I came across uh, Mary Kogut. She's a lawyer who helps people in, in those same situations. Well, since a lot of people who watch this show are over 50 and we are more away, aware of age discrimination taking place in hiring and promoting, uh, can you talk a little generally about uh, what maybe some key messages are and uh, what people should be looking out for and be aware of? Yes, and that, that does happen. Um, what they should look for is whether, first of all, there's any kind of um, maybe ageist jokes, you know, uh -huh. like you, you kind of look over the hill or, you know, just just a bunch of wisecracks. Um, if you want to, you know, keep track of that sort of thing, it's good to do that at home, not at work. Just make notes at home. Uh, sometimes uh, it's not that uncommon to try to move uh, the 60 year olds, the 65 year olds out in a way because they might be getting paid more than the younger people they can bring in. 
and employers have different ways of uh, trying to move people out. Sometimes it's a severance agreement, but sometimes they'll eliminate a job and then restart it with a new job that's very similar and bring somebody else in. You know, I hope to talk more with Mary, you know, as the days go along this week. But if you want to connect with her, here is her information. In our newsstand uh, segment today, while browsing around at all these magazines uh, section in the, at Barnes & Noble, that's my local store, you know, I discovered food magazines here, and they are really, really popular. And here's one that, that I picked out, and I started leafing through it. You know, I just loved all those uh, smoothie recipes, and Mimi brought a, a new energy to the idea. You know, these wonderful drinks, today it is watermelon delight. Hi, everyone. Summer is here, so what's best than watermelon, mint, and lime? It is delicious. It's a drink that can make you happy and take all that thirst. After workout, after you're shopping, you come home and you just do this. Three ingredients, very nice. Just dice some, uh, some watermelon, half a lime. You take the peel off, you peel it, all right, and fresh mint okay you put that in a blender in your nice bullet i love this bullet it's such a good good um, thing to have right. oh yes so, and of course, you have a nice tall glass with ice. If you want to, you know, uh, take all the pulp away, whatever, you can do that. But I don't. I like everything. It's, it's nice. And so you just pour it here like that. Put a piece of mint in here. And voila. Look how good this is. Let me taste. Seriously, it is delicious. It's, uh, <laughs> it's limey, sweet, and sweetness comes from the watermelon. There is no added sugar. Cheers and enjoy. Please make this for summertime. It's delicious. Hey, thank you so much, Mimi. Every show this week will be a new smoothie recipe. I also want to uh, thank you for just supporting the show. Now, if you like it or you learn something new, I want to tell you, you know, three ways that you can support the show and that you can keep Let's Talk going. And number one, just, uh, just get yourself subscribed. That's all. Every show, I am bringing on really inspirational guests who can teach or have something you know, it's interesting or to share. So just take a moment to hit that subscribe button. Um, and number two, you know, this is really the ultimate way to support Let's Talk. And, you know, it really takes just less than a minute. You can write something. Uh, it has to, it can be short and sweet. Like, you know, I love the show. It has changed your life or something that you learned from it. And I am really not exaggerating that I read reviews every single day and in every single one, whether it's short or long, it really means everything to me. And the more reviews means, the higher that we rank on all of those algorithms, which means bigger guests. So just take a minute, now leave a review, and then three, just share the show with your friends. Just hit that share button. You know, we live stream on Monday and on Wednesday and on Friday. And I just have to tell you, I am eternally grateful. Thank you so much for supporting Let's Talk. It's about productivity. It's about positivity and it's about happiness.